Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men came from the east, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they'd heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak and may you hear in the name of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's quite odd, isn't it, to be thinking about journeys at this time. For most of us, journeys are but a distant memory. Journeys that can be played by restrictions and difficulties. Those wise men's journey was completely the same. I've brought my three wise men from home here. There they are. Do you know, sometimes in churches, these wise men are put out right at the beginning of the Christmas season, but not by the crib. They're placed around the churches and then they're moved and people have to try and see how far they've got. I love that idea of playing out a journey as the time goes by over Christmas and to Epiphany. But on that original journey, they must have been inspired by a powerful sense of urgency and necessity to travel all the way from Arabia to Bethlehem and carrying such precious gifts as laid down in the ancient scriptures. Gifts in themselves which would prove dangerous Bandits and robbers were as audacious then as they are now. It's such a story of wealth, isn't it? Glorious wealth, coupled with humility, of perseverance, coupled with courage, of a physical journey alongside a spiritual journey. 
the saviour of the world is shown to that world. The wise men make the epiphany of Christ to the world. The saviour is made manifest, is shown to be for all, whether from north or south or east or west. And after this showing, well, they set out on a different road, which who knows what will bring. We never know whether they returned home safely. All we know is they set out on a different road. Here's a question for all of us. What will we do after worship in church or as you watch our online service what will we do afterwards have we allowed God's voice to speak to us have we allowed ourselves to listen do we know which spiritual road on our journeys we are taking are we showing Christ to the world, to our world here in this valley or wherever we're watching this? Our world of work, our world of community, of societies, of families. Are we showing Christ through our actions, through our words, even through our thoughts? However glorious that Christmas story is and that wonderful picture of magnificent wise men with gifts, we have to turn away from them now. We have to turn ourselves outwards and we have to ask questions of ourselves if we too are to be faithful to God's mission in our world. The story has at its very heart the meaning of the incarnation. God in Christ for the whole world, breaking down barriers. Jews of Jerusalem and Gentile Magi were poles apart. The message is so clear. The gospel is God's mission to the whole world, all nations. And we now have to share that responsibility of receiving this miraculous gift. Now is the time for action. Action that God wills for us. The action that God will strengthen us for. And that action is ours if only we will listen this day. We have to live in this COVID-ridden world of ours with its tears, its restrictions, its fears. But our faith should make a difference. How do we feel now after worshipping church or online? Is it a case of once done, it's done? Or do we feel changed? Do we get on with the rest of our day with a difference? The wise men travelled on a different road. Will we? Amen.